episode 1484 of No BS Job Search Advice Radio. I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. This is a show about final interviews and getting you ready for final interviews, I'm sure will be helpful. And I hope you give it a great review. I don't care where you do it. Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, share the darn thing, you know, share the the show. It helps other people find out more about me and the work that I do, and that helps to pay the bills. You do want me to pay my bills. I've got a kid in school in New York. It's expensive to have him live in New York. I'd appreciate all the help I can get. And by the way, I want to mention with JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, that's my site with curated information about job search. I've emphasized interviewing is a big part of it because I know most of you are not as good as you think you are at interviewing. And if you join the site for a lifetime membership, I give you an hour of coaching as part of that membership. And I got to tell you, what I charge for the site is the same as I charge for my coaching for an hour. The result is you're getting the site for free or an hour of coaching for free, however you want to look at it. And let's get going. And I want to talk with you today about final interviews and what they want to see from you at the final. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not going to be covering what you should be doing per se. So you know you have to practice. That that should be a given. But I kind of look at it as having three primary C's. Now, if you've seen some of my earlier stuff, I... We'll talk about how a firm is trying to look for competence, self-confidence, character, chemistry, charisma, all translating into personal leadership. Here I have it narrowed down, and I want you to think in terms of congruence. I'll explain why, why I bring that up in a second. Confidence and connection as being the three primary things that they're looking for. So what's congruence? You've told them certain things before, and what you're going to tell them today is going to be congruent or um, in line with what you've said previously. Now, I don't want you to say the same stories over and over again unless they want to investigate a particular episode. Think in terms of a new story that you can tell that they haven't heard before. You know, it's kind of like if you watch the same TV show over and over again. Yeah, it's familiar, but you want to see a new episode after a while, right? Be prepared with a new episode. And if they want to investigate further, you know, on something old, you can talk about the old uh, thing that has attracted them to, to the to you with a question, but I also say it kind of reminds me of another time when, and thus you can introduce the new story. Confidence. They want to be able to look across from you and find that you're someone that they don't have to worry about. If you're nervous, uh, if you are bashful, if you act like a slave to them, if you don't interview as though you're talking to an adult who's your peer, (laughs) They're not going to really feel confident in you. They're going to kind of view you uh, as a relatively junior individual. And I don't care if you are a junior individual or a senior talent. The idea is you're talking to an equal. They may be 30 years older than you, but you want to be talking confidently with them, but without arrogance, without annoying, without those sort of things that allow people you know, and I'm going to talk to those of you who are in your 20s. You know, when you're being dismissed, you don't want to instigate that with your behavior. They may have a bias that you can pick up on. I want you to have the choice. So I think in terms so far of congruence and self-confidence, talking with them as a peer. And lastly, the third C is connection. You want to connect with them. And one of the best ways to do that is, as you speak at times, use a smile. Uh, engage them. You can say, does that make sense to you? Am I being clear enough with you? I just want to make sure that I'm not losing you here. Um, you know, obviously not in an obvious place where they wouldn't lose you because, you know, that's kind of uh, insulting to them. But, you know, kind of like when you go off the rails a little bit and you're not really sure, I just want to make sure uh, you're following me here. Yeah, yeah, I'm following you. Good. Or, I'm not sure about this point. You know, Connect with them, talk with them, 
treat them like an equal, you know, smile as you talk at times and put a twinkle in your eyes. I'm trying to do that. I'm, I'm trying to get the light off my lenses here so you can see, you know, a twinkle in my eye where I'm really enjoying myself. And you want to have that sort of spirit as well. The more they talk, the more they like you. You might ask them about the org structure. I'm going to speak to the seniors here. You might talk about the org structure and where you fit in, what the upside is for the role, who's going to know about your work, um, you know, what kind of visibility you have, things along those lines. When push comes to shove, think, well, obviously you have to be, you know, uh, demonstrate competence, but you want to be congruent with what you've told them before and maybe expand on it a little bit. Self-confident and make a connection with people. That's the keys to a final interview. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, it's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. Have a few questions? Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling and time for Magnify or Presto Experts. Speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.